What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you know the drill. It does not matter what you drive because this is your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. And today, we are talking the Nissan Frontier. That is right, the 22 Frontier. That's right. But first, if you have not yet, smash that like button. It helps other people that uh, may like Nissan content or Bronco, whatever you like. I, I cover it all. It helps bring them into the channel, so I appreciate that. So, today is Frontier Day. And... You probably think of Dave, you did it a few weeks ago, you did some Frontier stuff, and anytime I get some kind of exclusive photos sent to me, I like to show these out. Now, you'll see these on social media after a while, it's just how it happens, but um, I want to say thank you to the person that keeps sending me these photos, and uh, I tip my hat to you. Um, but these uh, these today are of uh, the Pro 4X, that's right, the Nissan Pro 4X, but let's get a little history to the Frontier. The Frontier de made its debut in 19, late 97 as a Gen 1. It was basically the hard body, kind of a reimagining of the hard body that, that was very popular for Nissan, and they called it the Frontier. And by 2005, we were ready for the second generation. They pumped everything up, man. You were getting 261 horsepower and 285, I believe, foot-pounds of torque, which were monster numbers in its day. Now, while they have never updated the truck since, I mean, we've been through three presidents, and uh, we're still waiting on that, that next generation to pop up. Nissan's got us covered, man. This year is the year we're going to see that 22, and uh, I'm I'm very pumped for it. If you've been a fan of the channel for, if you know us from the Nissan days, you'll know that I've been just a super fan of this vehicle for a long, long time, and because I think you get a lot for your money. That is right. You're getting a lot of vehicle with the Nissan Frontier for your money, but with the next generation, is that going to stay, uh, stay the same? So let's look at this picture real quick. Pop this up on the screen here, and... Uh, now you're gonna first off you're gonna say we've seen these kind of photos before and you have but these are where they're uh, they're doing some testing on this the vehicle so you can see the Nissan logo is blurred out you see in the back the Pro 4X is blurred out and uh, other than that this thing is looks like showroom ready to go now let's look at a couple things on this vehicle and discuss so as you can see right at the very front under the logo. You'll see a camera there. You're going to see a camera under the mirrors on this. So this one definitely is going to have the uh, 360 cameras all around it. And uh, that's pretty pretty pumping for the Pro 4X model. And uh, you're getting a lot of cool little Pro uh, 4X unique things. Look at the the tow, uh, tow hooks on the front. They're going to be orange. They've, they've really taken a, a page out of, uh, of FCA and Jeep. Jeep really knows how to accentuate little things that probably don't really mean much to most people. But it just makes you feel like your vehicle is even tougher. So everybody's kind of copying this and, and Nissan's no exception and uh, I commend them for it. It's about time they take the next generation truck and make it a little more exciting. Now you can see there is definitely into the side of this thing some definitely some Titan cues to this thing and, and that's always a head scratcher to me even though I think this is a good looking vehicle. Uh, it's a head scratcher to me that you would uh, take a, a full size pickup that's not selling you know very well at all and uh, you're kind of making the side of this thing look like the the full size guy now you would have thought and and we were told a couple years ago by Nissan heads that hey the Frontier is going to help us sell Titans well if you're styling the thing after something that's not already selling I don't understand that philosophy but we did get kind of a new front end to this thing and the hood and everything looks more aggressive and uh, I actually like the headlights now if you know I broke the story on the Frontier about two years ago when uh, when I released a photo of this thing and I'll throw a link above of a potential Nismo version of this. That's right. Nissan still, they've still got something planned for this thing, even though they will not admit it right now. But let's just look at what we've got on the screen. So the first thing that stands off to me about this, it's a King Cab, which is really, really cool. I, I love the Nissan King Cabs. They both doors swing wide open, and uh, you can get whatever you need to back there. Uh, now, it's not necessarily a practical thing to put a person back there, but it does give you a little bit of extra space. Plus, you get the you get a little bit longer bed, which I know a lot of people like. And especially in, in the mid-sized truck world, people seem to like a longer bed. Now, they've got the Pro 4X badging. You can see it's it's hidden there, and it's a head-scratcher why Nissan's doing that, but it is what it is. The one thing I'm seeing right now that I do not like, I think this is a good-looking vehicle. They've taken a cue from Toyota about the colors. Hey, let's, let's show some cooler colors to these things. But the one thing that is a head-scratcher to me is why Nissan continues to put these, these Hankook all-terrain tires they do not look aggressive at all and you've built this aggressive looking vehicle and then you've kind of put a weak and cheap looking tire on it now 
you can go, hey, Toyota's doing the same thing with the TRD Pro. And I will say yes, because all these vehicles, the reasoning, they have to get fuel economy. They need miles per gallon. And you, if you put a big heavy-duty uh, MT or aggressive, um, like a, uh, a Goodyear uh, uh, Duratrac on these things, it's going to affect the miles per gallon. So I get it. And, and a lot of these manufacturers are like, look, we know you're going to take this thing. You're going to want to customize it yourself. So we're just going to allow you to do that. But I still, I think that they could have went with a, just a little more aggressive. You could have put a, a BF Goodrich K, uh, KO2 under this thing, and it would have looked great. And I think I think a lot of your uh, buying market would have been, they would have taken you more seriously had you put a more serious tire under it. Now, I've ran these tires, and they are a great tire. I'm not taking away from the tire. I just think if for your pro for x which is your off-road package, maybe you uh, step it up a little bit. And maybe Nissan will. Till we see the actual final production version of these things, who knows what Nissan's liable to do. Though I have a feeling they have a long-term deal with Hankook, and, well, we're probably stuck with these tires. But in the comments, let me know what you think about this. I do. I definitely like the color, this sand color to this thing. And Nissan's finally bringing some more color options to this vehicle, which they sadly needed a long time ago. Uh, but does Nissan, if the pro for x currently, I think it's around $37,000 uh, pro for x form with a, you get a rear locker and all that if they bring that out and it's still competitive say 38 39,000 dollars is that on your uh, list of uh of off-road styled vehicles it would be on mine and uh how while i've given this vehicle plenty of garbage i still think it's a major improvement from what nissan has given us in the past but in the comments below let me know what you think does this vehicle say something to you so whether it be two-wheel drive Four-wheel drive, you know the drill. It does not matter what you drive because this has been your all-terrain nation, and we're talking the 22 Nissan Frontier. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.